Hi, my name is Carl Fravel, and I'm happy to be giving a talk here at the launch of the Crypto College in the Decentraland University. Um, uh, I am a technologist uh, of over, with over 40 years of experience in software and hardware, and uh, I'm an evangelist for virtual experience. Uh, with regard to virtual worlds, I'm an author, an educator, an organizer, and a builder. And uh, I'm the district leader of several Decentraland districts, including the university, the conference center, um, Etheria, and the virtual reality shopping district. And I am honored to have been asked to be the chancellor of Decentraland University. So the first question to explore today is what crypto brings to virtual worlds? Um, it brings an international monetary system that's unconstrained by national borders. If you were creating a na uh, non-national experience like Decentraland, you wouldn't want to use a nationally specific currency. Um, you'd pick a cryptocurrency. Um, this also means that ownership um, is not dependent on companies or national systems. Um, if you had a land deed in a virtual world, would you go down to your county recording office to get it recorded? No, you'd record it on the blockchain. Um, it also means you have permanence uh, in the uh, world, even if the founding organization of the, that created the virtual world wraps up. Uh, therefore, your investment in land and in the improvements you've made to it and your engagement with the community in that world um, won't just disappear. Um, so what, does, what do virtual worlds bring to crypto? Well, I say first and foremost, they bring real use cases. Um, you have an in-world community, you have land, you have economics, you have assets. And um, in uh, tokenizing digital assets compared to physical assets. So imagine trying to tokenize a commodity like sugar or oil um, or a rare collectible like a Picasso painting. Um, People are working on that, but it's it's it doesn't it's not really easy. Um, whereas if you, it, with a digital asset, you can design it to be easy to integrate with the NFT that represents it. Um, and then also, a virtual worlds bring the ability to visualize your NFT. Uh, you can put your clothing on your body. You can put your house on your land. You can put a painting on the wall. You can put your crypto pet in the yard. Uh, you can get a ride in your crypto Lambo. It's also a place where you can run a crypto business, such as a store or a game or a performance venue. Um, the sky is the limit. Uh, so I want to speak a little bit about the future role of virtual worlds and virtual experience for humanity. Virtual experiences give you the opportunity to socialize, uh, network, um, and ideate with anyone, anywhere. Um, and to do that with them in the same space, interacting with the same things, sitting around a table, uh, going golfing, whatever. Um, it also provides a high functioning experience opportunity for those that have physical world limitations. A person might be uh, homebound or in a wheelchair in the physical world, but in a virtual world, they go dancing or sailing. Um, uh, and therefore have a social life that they wouldn't be able to have otherwise, um, as well as a career. Um, virtual worlds also give us the opportunity to uh, develop our identity in new ways. Um, you know, in the physical world, people use clothing and makeup and, you know, hairstyles. And in a virtual world, you can take that further. You can be a different person tomorrow than you are today. Um, and this gives you opportunity to have a wider range of experiences and uh, that leads, of course, to character development. Uh, speaking of characters, uh, virtual worlds give new forms, new possibilities for new forms of art, literature. You can imagine uh, virtual theater um, and uh, interactive fiction where you are a character in the story. Um, obviously, uh, virtual experience has a real, you know, real pot potential for education. Um, the uh, 
there's a lot of experience right now working with uh, things that provide a 2D interactive experience with other people. Um, it's being heavily used right now during the pandemic. However, virtual experience takes that further. You can actually be in a space with other people. You can handle three, 3D objects. You can make things um, and uh, hand them around. I mean, there's, there's opportunities there that are much more immersive and provide a better educational experience. Um, and again, with people from anywhere in the world, it's not um, geographically limited. Uh, virtual experience gives you the opportunity to have a way of safely continuing to contribute and create and interact and socialize with other people during pandemics or other catastrophes, uh, which right now seem to be um, kind of the order of the day. Uh, also, there's um, types of remote functioning, such as telemedicine, um, decentralized governments, governance that involves consultation and ideation with other people, not just voting. Um, and so uh, the role of virtual experience in humanity's future it has, is a great opportunity um, and uh, underpinned with blockchain, it also has um, a permanence and a strength. At this point, I'd like to just open it up for any questions and discussion. Ja, Freunde, das war the creator, ja, er spricht selbst vom, ja, der, der, der Chancellor, der Kanzler, sagen wir, der Chef von Decentraland, ja, der Erschaffer, der Creator, ja, und er hat hier ganz schön beschrieben, was Decentraland ist und, ähm, ja, ich bin absoluter Fan und, ja, das ist die Zukunft, schaut mal gerne rein, würde mich sehr freuen, danke fürs Zusehen, bis zum nächsten Mal. Wenn es Neues gibt aus, wenn es was Neues aus Decentraland gibt. Okay, danke fürs Zusehen. Ciao.